Welcome to Statistics in Excel video number 48. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Business 210, Chapter 5. If you're in the class, just go to our Chapter 5 website. Hey, we have some random variables here and some percentages or proportions or probabilities. Uh, and then we have the same random variable here for job satisfaction score for middle managers. So we have some senior and some middle. And I want to make a chart that displays both of these. Now first I want to check there are two rules, two requirements for a discrete probability distribution. All, each of these has to be greater than or equal to zero and all of them have to be added up and equal one. I'm going to highlight all these cells and in the active cell I'm going to make my logical formula equals one cell to my left. Notice that that's a relative cell reference. Greater than or equal to zero. Control enter to populate all those cells. Now notice that was a relative cell reference so I can copy this and I can click one cell here and control V. Notice because that was a relative cell reference, boom, the same formula gets pasted. True, 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 true. So requirement one is met. Now I'm going to highlight this cell in all equals to check if they all equal one requirement number two, and they do. I could also copy this and paste this right here, control V. That was control C, control V. Escape to turn the dancing ants off. Now let's make a column chart, which is an appropriate chart to visually portray a discrete probability distribution. And make sure that when you do discrete probability distributions, the columns do not touch because there are gaps with discrete variables. I'm going to highlight, unlike last video when we did it like this, go up to Insert Column and click right there. Oh, I'm going to click Escape because there's a keyboard shortcut in 2007 for the default chart, which mine is a column, Alt F1. Now, that looks great. I would like to link the axis here to the actual variables here. Notice we didn't highlight it, so it's not, and it, even in last video, it didn't link. And you want them to link because later we'll have, uh, we won't always get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and by default it'll always put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'm going to go up to Design, Select Data. I'm going to click over here on Edit. Now I want to get my X's, which have to be uh, accessible. My, they're kind of, the chart's a little bit over, but not totally. And then I click OK. Notice it doesn't change at all, but they're linked. And later, um, you're going to have to link them because they won't, the default doesn't always work. Now let's get rid of this chart title, delete. I'm going to get rid of uh, this axis, delete. I'm going to get rid of the lines. Notice that would get rid of the whole chart if I hit, del oh no, I guess delete, it won't work. But what we want is those. And so I had to click, not there, but there. And sometimes, oh, see, I'm clicking. It may take a couple clicks, but get rid of that. That's just chart junk. Uh, now I want to right click this format legend. The other way to do it is Control 1. And I want to show the legend at the top because we're going to add a second data set. I want to show you how to do that. Now we could go up to design and uh, select data and do it, but there's a great trick for adding data to a chart. You highlight the data you want, label, because the label will show up in the legend. Notice that label right there on top of the data point showed up in the legend. So you want your label up there, data points. Now in earlier versions of Excel, you could click and drag to the chart, but here, you have to control C to copy, click on the chart and control V to paste. And just like that we get excellent our chart. Now we need our probabilities uh, and we also might put a, another chart title like um, discrete probability distribution. In fact let's do that. Layout, chart title, above, centered, no I want above the chart and I'm going to type uh, with it highlighted, I'm just going to type it out. I can't ta t type and talk at the same time. I'm such a bad speller and typer. Enter. 
Hopefully I spelled that right. You can always hit F, uh, spell check and, and uh, check it. One last thing. Uh, in fact, let's change the font on that. I'm going to change that to maybe a 12. Uh, one last thing. Let's add data labels at the top of each column. So I'll go to Layout, Data Labels, and I'm going to say Outside. And now we have our discrete probability distribution, two of them side by side. You could see the patterns. Oh, here it is. Uh, this is, in fact, you know, uh, we want to put a, a label here because I'm about to look at it and say what, what it is, but I don't know what it is if I haven't seen the original data set. Got to have a label. You want the minimum amount of stuff to articulate your message. Remember we had an axis here and some lines? That's chart junk. We don't need that. But no way. We definitely need a label. So I'm going to go to uh, Layout. Layout. Axis. I'm going to say Horizontal and Below. I'm immediately going to hit F2. Notice my cursor jumps up there. Equals and I'm going to click on A1. Enter. Oh, Jada Job Satisfaction Score. So there it is. We can see some patterns here. The fives, that's the highest job satisfaction. Ooh, senior execs way above the middle managers. Middle managers a little bit um, better at four. Looks like there's a dead heat here, but certainly that one uh, tells uh, a lot of the story. All right, um, discrete probability distribution and a chart, two data sets. We'll see you next video.